they listen to me. Now let me say you there on top of the chairman television station, Wazubia Max TV. And this program, now the Ogonga one where we say, we they discuss what is the important for the issue. We call up Coco of the Matter. My name now Ezugu Chukudi. Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7.30 for evening. We they carry the matter when they important pass. Discuss that with people when Sabi, so that you when they house they watch. You go learn, you go know. And when they reach to do action, you go do the right one. The thing we want to discuss today is a very important issue. If you check your calendar, today is November 5th. If you check your calendar, November 1st or December 23, is a very important date inside this country because of one important action when our soldier people them, they carry. When I introduce our own guests to them, I go talk about this action and we go discuss them. At the end, now you go judge them. Whether you believe, say, this thing, you know, it go give us better results or it no go give us better results. Make I introduce our own guests to them with me inside the studio. In a person, when we say, when it comes to those who love this country, if they use gauge, measure in all love, the gauge goes spoil. Because the love when you get for this country, it ain't too much. Now, why the time when Nigeria returned to democracy after so many years of military rule, he come and talk, say, he won't serve in people. If you go mushin, make you go ask, they go tell you, say, not be just whether this person they share money or this person they drive big moto or they live for fine house. Say, person won't get good heart. Now, person won't be say, then go always remember. And they talk of Honorable Ayodele Thomas Fadei. Welcome to Coco of the Matter. Thank you very much and good day. Uh, what do we, my we, have, viewers. we appreciate your presence. Say you carry Waka come with you. us inside studio. Yes. And we get another person where we say, uh, he sit down for inside Abuja. Based on the talk of one talk, we need people who get experience. Now, why we won't balance the talk? And we need experience from our soldier people side of uh, the level. And they talk of a retired air commodore Balogun, retired air commodore Balogun. Welcome to Coco of the Matter. Thank you very much. I happy to. I'm happy to be here. Thank you very uh, much. Retired. And I say we can't discuss uh, cocoa of the matter with day. Uh, thank you very much, uh, retired Commodore uh, uh, Commodore Balogun. Uh, make I not just waste time. Make I just go straight. I make I start with uh, our Ogbonge visitor when they inside studio, so that we go put water for ground before we enter uh, into discussion. Uh, since Nigeria returned to democratic rule for 1999. Uh, this year, go make them 20 years when we return to uh, democratic rule. He get to one particular matter when we say, no matter how the thing take be, everybody inside this country, they talk about them. Insecurity, insecurity, insecurity. And we don't spend plenty money on top of this insecurity matter. In fact, according to one report, when come out for news last week, they say Nigeria don't spend over two trillion in the last five years, just the last five years, old, to fight insecurity and ensure say Nigeria they catch up. Make I ask this important question: uh, When we talk about security, how which kind of importance Pacific put on top of security inside country? Say for example, when they're inside country, oh, then they safe, then they secure. Then as something we say, if we go measure the importance, it they very very high. I be just dead there because now God hand. Now all of us there, and now God, now they watch over us. Thank you, uh, Chukudi. And uh, the viewers at home, I salute to... You see, the cocoa of the matter, be say, we all talk about security, security, security. The failure of security in this country is a collective thing, you know, Collective means say now everybody. Now everybody will not matter concern. Now everybody will not be not be say uh, in a president uh, governor or senate president or uh, minister. Mm. Now everybody. Now all of us will fail. Mm. Yes. Because I want to bring you back. 1999, when this uh, South South uh, militant, they start their own. You remember what happened for OD mm. in Bayesha State? Mm -hmm. You remember? Mm. And you remember, say, all the elders and leaders of South South, they march go Abuja, go see President Obasanjo then. Mm. He told them, say, make you not go caution your children, no. And they went back home. 
go caution their children. So this one means say anything we concern security, not be just the business of people where they wear uniform. No, or those where the government are everybody they now everybody because you have to be very very vigilant mm. even against your neighbor. Mm. You don't know what your neighbor can do. Mm. It is the truth. You don't even know what your brother, your junior one, mm -hmm. has done outside before he ran come home. Very important. But make I ask our retired uh, air commodore. Uh, our retired air commodore, you na person where we say you don't serve this country uh, well, well, as it take concern security. You don't reach the level where we say the evil court cap give you say you don't try. Go rest. Make I ask from all the things when we say uh, you don't learn. Uh, based on the work where you they work and the experience where you don't gather. Uh, the things when we say your eyes see that time when you get service, as how our security people they take the follow in security matter and what thing they happen now. It get any difference from what you see, it get what you would they do before when we know they do again. Abishan has said insecurity, the thing don't grow up, get six packs, get muzzle. Now it make the thing come be like say we know they really do the thing well. I thank you. Uh, the insecurity we would they talk about. Uh, according to a guy in Lagos, he said it's everybody's problem. But me, as he say, no be everybody understand them. The Nigerian populace, they know they take them serious. They think say now nah, only soldier, now nah, then they fight insecurity. But as he said, now nah, all of us get that problem. Because insecurity. Without security, without uh, safe environment, there will be no development. There can be no progress. Because uh, you need to have peace for anybody to grow. So if we all agree, say, the, the insecurity problem now our problem, yes, the, the ID card way they won't check now, is something to help us in that regard. Though we will still discuss it in detail, but I think we are not paying enough attention. We know they take them the way we're supposed to take them, to let the whole world know, say, these security challenges now with problem. Okay, uh, retired Air Commodore, I like the way when we say our introduction don't take balance. And the reason why I ask those questions now so that we go get ideas, say, okay, well, before we begin, they talk about the cocoa weather inside the matter. Uh, security and something when they very very important. Make I can ask our Ubonge uh, Honorable who sit down with me inside studio. Uh, the Nigerian Army don't come out. Talk say they get different exercise when they do for different parts of the country. Like for example, for the North East, they get Operation Lafia Adole. Uh, we know of uh, Python Dance for inside South East, Crocodile Smile for South South and even South West. Different, different ones. I am a Batuma. Different operation to use, say, security balance inside this country. And our soldier people, them, they come out, they talk, say, this thing, so, the thing they bring results. Because these bad guys, where they cause problems for this country, many of them, the fire don't too much. They don't, they run up and down. Now, why they won't do this operation, positive identification? This operation, positive identification, I don't want me to say, security people go see you, then go ask you, say, please identify yourself. Make I see your ID card. According to information when they share, they talk, say, driver's license, uh, uh, Nigerian passport, national ID card, voter's card. I need to, when we say that you use checks, say, okay, this, this person, not really Nigerian, uh, they could just allow you go. But say, some of these bad people, when they enter inside this country, they don't get these things. And say, now those people, now they won't use this thing, fish out. And uh, you think, say, this particular uh, operation, positive identification, Send a positive result, the thing will give us. I'll be getting on that is what we're supposed to do first before positive identification. Too good. Honorable. A Nigerian citizen. Mm. I salute you. Mm. Good evening. You see, this sort of uh, problem where we they face now, it don't happen for United Kingdom before. It don't happen for United Kingdom? Yes. Mm. It happened for United Kingdom. Irish Republican Army. IRA. IRA. If they are just like Boko Haram, you cannot identify them. Hmm. And they cause a lot of havoc. I was in UK then. I lived there then. And uh, they didn't even say that we should carry all this. Although, hey, something happened to me there. Hmm. What really happened to me there was that 
That was uh, in 1993 when I was in Nezal there. You know, towards the remote outside of uh, London. Mm. Now there I did. Mm. They called the place Irit. Irit. Yes, Irit. I did telephone booth at the phone Lagos. They monitor what is going on. I don't know, say spy people, they, 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 the elderly people where they work with Olopa. Mm. They just found police and the police come meet me there. They say, make I identify myself. If I know, you know, if the immigration there did not stamp my passport, mm -hmm. the immigration there, mm. they don't stamp my passport or I took you through Connie Connie Way, enter there. Mm. They have they deport me. But immediately they came, about five cars, they surround the telephone booth. And I told them, I said, This is my name. My Yodele Thomas Zofade is my name. I was a former councillor in the Muslim local government, 1987 to now, before Babangira discovered. Mm. And they checked the record. And the record they did. And they found the home office, mm. they found the immigration. And they just, they even apologized to me. Uh, uh, honorable, look, just hold on, they make her involve a retired air commodore. From this explanation we don't give, it yes. shows, say, uh, as they check the record, yes. many said they get record. Yes. And the team, they there. Many said the record, they work. Yes. Uh, ret uh, retired air commodore. Make I ask, oh, this is our country. When people don't, they complain, say, data, 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 and a problem. We no get, for example, you go on register to drive driver's license. You go go snap picture, do everything again. National ID card, you go snap picture, do everything again. BVN, you go snap picture, do everything again. We get data for this country. So if the kind thing will happen to honorable, happen to somebody for this uh, country, which ID card you think say the person will show when we say they go look, say, okay, really and truly, this ID card, now genuine ID card, and this person is their rights to the inside this country. Ah, okay. <clears throat> Thank you. I, what did they happen here? We say, we know they take things seriously. Hi. If we start with the issue of data, the data, we get them. But now how to join the data together? We say, if road safety won't check your profile, they get them. If immigration won't check your profile, they get them. If police won't check, they get them. Now how to join all together? Now it be the problem. So if we say we they do national positive identification now, how will army, at least if you carry your national identity number and say, okay, this is my name number, because there is no card, but I have the number. How the people where they check, go feel confirm say now you, like it happened in England according to the, the honorable. We never reach that level. Mm. That's why me, I'm of the opinion, say, this positive ID, it never reached the level mm. where we go stand for road and be able to identify somebody where we don't know before. But, Again, but, the okay, other uh, thing we say, not four things. Every time, hey, Commodore, I won't ask, I won't run, ask you quick, quick. Yeah. Or oh, even the talk say, uh, desperate uh, times call for desperate measures. You not think, say, even though we not get data when they don't harmonize, say, everybody fee check and confirm, or, that, or different agencies get their own. But because of, say, this insecurity matter, that's something where we say, it don't hook us for neck. The army, they right to come up with them so that first people go there safe, and bad people don't go to enter this country, and even those who don't enter, they go fee catch them. Yes, the army, they right to start that thing. But the, the issue I have, where I get with that project program, we say, it, can army, army feed do them now with all the uh, insecurity problems we have, with all the challenges we have everywhere in Nigeria? No state where you go go now, where you no go see army. Army already did there. And we get serious war in the Northeast. Me, I think, say, we for first face that war and allow other agencies to they do positive ID. Mm. Let the armed forces, including Army, Army, Navy, Air Force, let them concentrate on the major challenge, which is the, the threat where Nigeria they face. The other one is internal, where I think say, now the Ministry of Interior mm -hmm. should hold, like immigration, police, 
civil defense, all other agencies can be tasked to do that. Why Army, Air Force, and Navy, which are the armed forces, face our current security challenges? Because I think now that one the important pass. Mm. Instead, we will go bring our soldiers from the Northeast, make them go Calabar, they go do identification. Me, I'm not in favor of uh, that kind of approach. But it is good that we can monitor the, our borders. It is good to monitor our people so that we know who be Nigeria and who no be Nigeria. Uh, very true. Now, the approach, we are no support. Okay, retired air commodore, thank you very much for that answer where you give. Make I bring them back to our honorable for studio. Hey, honorable, retired air commodore, don't talk, say, with what did they go on for this country? Uh, you go notice the presence of our army people everywhere. And you talk of the Minister of Interior, and I see say you agree with them. Maybe we can ask, we get police for this country. And the responsibility of police now to ensure, say, everything will concern internal security, law and order, uh, then do and well. But if we don't jump police, courage, say, now army go come, they do positive identification. What do you think, say, police, they do? What will be the problem? And what will be the solution to see, say, police, the work when constitution say you go do, you go really do it. Chukudi. Honorable. You see, the issue would be, say, positive identification with the army they talk about. It is not their problem. Hmm. Yes. It is, it is against their scope of work. Hmm. They are what we say protect the uh, territorial, integrity. territorial integrity of the nation. Mm. This positive identification, the people who, who the, their job is say they can identify people, in not the immigration. Mm. It is not the job of the police. Police is to prevent crime. Mm. The job of civil defense is to assist the police in curbing crime or crime prevention. But honorable no verso, yes. if these people don't already enter, it means that they don't already beat immigration. As then they inside, maybe now why army won't close in on them. Yeah, you see, if the army won't close in on them, they needed the support of immigration people. Mm, mm. Because army people, they were trained to kill. Key enemies. Yes. Uh, then, what else? Maybe if they catch those people, they will give them to police. Uh, if they catch those people, give them po to police. Then police themselves will call immigration to come and do their job. Mm, 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 mm. Why does it that they all these people where they vandalize a pipeline? When the civil defense catch them, then they transfer them to police. Mm -hmm. They themselves cannot prosecute them. Mm -hmm. So it is the, it is the scope of job. Mm. So it is very, very important make people do their job. Exactly. You know supposed to be Be, uh, no, no, okay, call, call because, that one. you see, except, except if there is a platform mm. that the army, the air force, the, the navy, the civil defense, the uh, police, and the other paramilitary something, they will form a, a forum, intelligence forum, in order to share information. information. Mm. Then when the need arise, they will call the arms that, that is involved go, go, uh -huh. to come and take over. Uh, honorable, make I just quickly also ask uh, our retired uh, air commodore, Yes. Because from the things we're talking about, talk now, the foundation of this problem now say our border. Yes. It just it be like baskets. People they enter inside this country anyhow, and those when we say supposed to do their work first at the point of entry, they know they do the thing well. Uh, if to say every country they open, I they very sure say places like United Kingdom, America, Canada go down full because people go they enter anyhow. Make I ask a retired air commodore. What if we do to you see, say, first to that our defense, our defense, where we say people don't go to enter our country anyhow. The thing go there strong. And we go to check those when they enter our country and get the accurate information. All right. You see, what you talk now. I won't ask Honorable whether he be soldier before. Because why are they asked that question? Now, the cocoa of the thing, nine honorable don't talk so. Mm, cocoa, you he know, said we cocoa. know they work together. Mm. 
yes, he said we not get platform where everybody they work under. Not true. Because uh, me, I serve and I, I retired about four years ago. I know what they happen for the military. Army day, Air Force day, police day, Navy day, immigration day, all the government agencies where then they involve. There must be a place where all of them go think, then go sit down, then go gather their strength, their resources. How are we going to use the resources? Because we are fighting a common goal. We want to achieve the same thing. So it is not army job. It is not Air Force job. It is not police job. It is not immigration. It is all of us. But government don't tell us, hey, you, you're supposed to do this. You, you're supposed to do this. If all of us can't identify, say, now me supposed to check ID, the rest go support them to do the job, even if you don't get the capability. If police now supposed to fight crime, it go start. When he no fit again, he call and come and help us. We will join. But today, everybody, they do your own, no togetherness. If you look at this uh, studio right now, everybody gets your own role to play. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, our viewers then they see us for television. Mm -hmm. They don't know who would be the technician. They don't know who would be the recorder, who would be the photographer. But because this TV station is working as a whole, and now so Nigerian armed forces and the security agents, now so we should work. Not be one person get all the ideas. Mm. Thank you. A retired Air Commodore, thank you very much for that uh, answer when you give. He done the very clear, say, all of us, they together. And Honorable, make I come back to you. You and a person when we say, uh, from your active, uh, from the way you take involved inside politics for this country, you've been talking about the time when you go exile. And now because of that time, say, you know, people like Kuna, when they do well, they serve people, uh, uh, military people being the final now. And we need to run so that you know go come on to God be the glory. Make I ask, plenty of Nigerians they fear when they see soldier people outside. In fact, you get one joke when they when they talk say, if police uh, slap you, you fisty you go. He say well, if soldier man slap you, now that time you go really know say police is your friend because like you don't talk the kind of training when they receive now strong training their eye they always they strong. And if you do anyhow, you see anyhow. What do you go talk about those when they fear? People when not they express fear, say, hey, if this police, if these people then start again, oh, when they do positive identification, say it if it cause some kind of issue inside this country, say, okay, they come now, say, excuse me, uh, identify yourself. You say, um, 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 um. By the time we do that third M, um, boom, we don't land for your, some people they talk, say, this thing go, they open to abuse. Uh, you agree with those people when they fear? Yes, yes, because you see, there has been a lot of wastage in this country. Mm. The Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the police, taxpayers' money was spent on them to train them, both at home and abroad. Who sum of money? At the end of the season, they said they retire. Whom did they serve? They serve or they only serve themselves? There must be a data register book where they can be recalled. Like what is happening in Northeast now? In Sambisa area. Mm. They knew the in and out of that area. Mm. Yes. From intelligent gathering which I get to, hmm. because I served in government before, that was under Gowan, under Murita La, under Oba Sonjo, I served and I work in very sensitive area, hmm. including secret registry of the federal government. Hmm. Yes. There is Amori, Amori store inside Sambisa Forest. Which the Boko Haram people are using now as their base. Mm. Yes, and you know, various communities there. They want to tell the government because if, if they bring them together, they enjoy the whole thing. And they, they saw the way people are suffering outside. I'm referring to the old community that surrounds them. Mm. 
They won't give them information, true information. Mm. But to me now, if you want to hear the truth, I will tell you the truth, and nothing but the truth. When these uh, Boko Haram people started, the elders of the North, they were there. The leaders of the North were there. They did not talk. They overpumped their children. Yes. It, it is the truth. Now, their children are causing problem now. Look at what happened in the South South, uh, Southeast. This is something canon. Look at the way they shot up the guy. Within three weeks, they shot him, uh, they, they shot up him, and he, he, he ran away. Look at what happened to OPC here. Mm. The elders called them, and they warned them. The same thing goes with what happened in the East. They, they called the elders, and the elders warned those young, younger people. So what are we talking about? Mm. Why, can't they, why can't the northern elders and leaders, when they saw the something coming, why can't they warn them? Mm, okay, Honorable, make I, make I just quickly ask a uh, retired uh, uh, Commodore Balogun, because I know, say, like, you don't talk. Uh, you don't talk, say, not be just our security people. Yes. Everybody's supposed to be involved. Yes. And if we look what it done, they happen now. Uh, this year, make them 10 years since this issue of Boko Haram, don't they, you know, with the do this, retired they do that, that. military officers, if they recall them, they know the terrain there. And they go use experience. They will use experience. Uh, uh, retired Air Commodore Balogu, make I ask you, you say you don't, you retire like four years ago. Uh, make I ask you, oh, because the kind of experience where you get, they know they buy them for market. Yes. And they know they put them for inside show glass. You, you think, say, if people like Una, you know, then still come, call Una, say, I beg go, give us idea, give us support, teach us some things. You think, say, the thing go help us, we find permanent solution to this realm of insecurity, and if they call you, make I ask, you, you go agree you go, you go, give them the support? Uh, as I did, so I still they support the military men. Mm. Unofficially, though, because uh, apart from me, there are thousands of retirees yes. that are useful, that can be helpful to whatever is happening. But if you don't call them, mm. if you don't think they have any value for you, you, you not go get them. They not go just come and be begging you, I want to help you. Mm -hmm. No. But you mo now you go identify them. Now you go see, say, when these people do service, they do well. That experience where they get, where the younger ones never get. Like the Honorable said, Nigeria has spent so much money. We don't spend money train these people well, well. And you say they retire and they are useless. I think not be the way to go with that. Mm. There are several of them who are there and they get sense. They are still strong because you won't believe it. The military men are supposed to be the strongest in the society. So when they retire, like you said, say the training way than they do, it keeps them strong throughout their lives. So when they retire, after how many years, it does not mean say their life don't finish with that. Mm. But the system we have now be say, once you retire, you are useless. Mm. You are forgotten. Nobody thinks you have anything to offer again. Mm. But when you did service, there were so many things you could do. So if we want uh, to achieve more, to me, I support your idea. They should go back and look at the records. Mm. Yes. Put these people in, give them thorough medical checkup, still find out the ones that are strong enough to work for you. In fact, some of them, they don't, they don't need to be at the battlefront. Mm -hmm. They can help you at the home front and allow the younger ones to go front. Uh, experience, they say, it can be bought Ex on the market. Experience can cannot it. be it bought in the you. market. Uh, uh, retired Air uh, Commodore Balogun, uh, you and uh, our Honorable here, Honorable Thomas Ayodele Fadei, who now don't share plenty of wisdom as it takes concern this matter, what they discuss. So, uh, but but I, I go just beg you say, I could just calm down. Because this, all this talk, we don't talk now. We don't open the problem. We don't, I go speak big English. We don't dissect the problem. Now, what it remain now, now, solution to this problem. Uh, what it go just happen be say, uh, discussion must continue. This discussion must continue. So, uh, when he reach for us to talk the problem, uh, we don't talk him. When he reach for us to do the solution, we go do him. We will carry waka come out. When we come back, now, solution, and we're going to talk about based on discussion continue.
to enjoy more of these our Ogonge videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.